I think that it, it was a wonderful opportunity to explore homophobia, immigration, loneliness, trying to build up another life. Were those elements important for you? Well, of course. I mean, it's a story that has so many aspects of it. It's about the immigrant experience. It's about fathers and sons. It's about finding your own identity. It's about owning your identity and leaving shame behind. Um, it's a very, very rich and layered story. Uh, and it was very appealing to me to try and find a way to tell it all in one film. June is the month, June and July, depending on the, on the world, on the territories, is the month of celebrating gay pride. What, what do you think this film, what does the contribution of this film to, to the gay LGBTQ liberation movement? I mean, it's so exciting that it's coming out during Pride Month. We were supposed to come out last Pride Month last year, and we were very excited about it because obviously, um, you know, I'm an ally to the community, and the film really touches upon, um, you know, the power of owning your own identity. And also, it, it doesn't sort of mince words when it comes to the continued challenges um, that are faced by the LGBTQ plus community all over the world, uh, Latin America and the United States. I think that there's been, you know, over the last few years, there has been a sense of complacency by some that feel like, you know, this is an issue that's been handled. Everyone's like, we've got Pete Buttigieg and you've got Will and Grace and people are just sort of, but the truth is that there's been a lot of slippage and there's been uh, a lot of hate crimes and in, in the world against the community and that this continues to be a problem. Homophobia is real. And I just think it's important that we remember that at the same time that we celebrate Pride Month. And I think this film hopefully, you know, can contribute in some way to that conversation. I think homophobia is real, but I also think that there are two worlds, the world of homophobia and the world of tolerance. And uh, I think it's wonderful to, to live in the world of tolerance and to be able to fight homophobia. And uh, I think the film does that in a very good way because it shows the homophobic aspects of any culture and then the acceptance of any culture too. Because like, listen, I'm gay and when I go to Mexico, I feel so comfortable, but yeah. I'm sure that I could feel uncomfortable. It, I feel so, so, so accepted and, you know, I feel accepted and people come to me, they're very nice, but I'm sure that there are other population in Mexico that will reject me like they do here if I go like to- Like here too, it's the same here. It's like you're, if you're in Mexico City or New York City, you yeah. feel tolerance. You know, if you're maybe in Kansas City or Puebla, you might not. I mean, you know, it's the world is, it's the same everywhere. And I, I wouldn't say that, you know, yes. I, 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 it I, is. I, That's why I think it's a universal story doesn't matter where the guys come from or the only thing is that yeah they're looking for the american dream but maybe the american dream is not such a dream anymore or it could be but it's different right how do you see yeah, that I, i think we've become a lot of us are very cynical about the american dream i mean you know i think that that in a way it feels like an outdated concept but for the real Ivan mm -hmm. and gerardo as they as they told it to me they feel like they found it in some ways but it comes with a price tag You're paying the price to come here and to, um, they've achieved so much, but the price is high. They haven't seen their families in over 20 years. And Yvonne has a son that he wasn't able to raise. And so like nothing comes without a cost. And I think that that is the reality of the American dream, which is something we're we try to explore in the movie is, you know, the sacrifices you make in pursuit of that dream, if or, it, or if it does not exist. Yeah, I really loved the film. It was uh, very interesting, but... Uh, also, they're in love for so many years. I mean, I'm not counting years, but it's nice that, to see a couple that, against adversity and everything, they're together. And also, I'm, uh, I love the fact that it's based on real facts on your friends. Did they like the movie or what? Did they see? <laughs> yes, of course. They, they've seen it. You know, I've known them for so many years, like over 15 years. They're really close friends of mine. I was terrified to show them the movie, um, of course. And because they were not involved in the scripting process and all of that, they gave me complete trust. So showing it to them was just like, I was paralyzed. I went to their house, we showed, I opened, opened up a laptop, showed them the first, you know, the, the almost finished movie, silence, like, sin palabras. Yeah. And 
and they were just so overcome with emotion. I mean, I can't imagine what it's like to see your life portrayed by an actor. I can't imagine the, what it must have felt like. But um, then, of course, he saw it several more times before Sundance, and now they love it. Now they now they just like can't get enough of it, and they love watching it and sharing it with their friends. And they shared it with their mother. We shared it with their mothers. They, it was shown in Mexico City and also at the Morelia Film Festival. So all their moms and family got to see it, and they were so nervous about it because. Still today, they don't they don't have a real open conversation about their relationship to their family. So this was a way for them to really sort of come out and see the movie, and uh, it was a very intense experience, cathartic, I think, for everybody. 